many of our listeners are business owners, but also work a nine to five like you, like me, like DLO. Um, Mm -hmm. So how do you balance the two and how does that really, how does that work for you? Yeah, no, great question. Um, I would say I'm still learning how to totally balance it. Uh, For me, one thing that has helped me is thinking about systems and it kind of goes back to um, what you had mentioned before is almost getting a lot of uh, getting that education from experiences. And so being able to leverage what I've learned um, partly through my nine to five um, to kind of implement in my businesses. Um, And so one thing that I try to do is kind of set up like almost like admin time um, or time on the weekends where I really can devote to like, what are my processes? Um, And then I think the other thing is because I would say my business more so I'm operating in more of my, I I call it my passion project, (laughs) but I'm operating more of my creative space. And um, I do have a lot of ideals and I do, and it is something that I'm very like interested in, in driving change and making an impact. And so um, allowing myself to have that create creative space, but then also thinking about a way to make it um, systematic and, and have processes in place that is manageable. So mm-hmm. I think sometimes it's, it's ebbs and flows, um, but that's kind of what I try to do is just take a step back and say, what processes do I have in place and um, what help do I need? And um, kind of from, a, a, and I was trying to put my, maybe my project management hat on sometimes mm-hmm. and saying, okay, what are my milestones? What are my actions? How do I break things down um, and, and work towards what goals I have for either the year or the quarter um, and start there?